In the first instance, 27-year-old Stephen Lewis called Shaba of Lot 9 Portuguese Quarters Quarantine was injured during an altercation with a man during a game of Chick Chick on Christmas Eve. Reports are that the suspect is a 27-year-old Keen Harvester. The Keen Harvester reportedly spent some time and money at the gambling board, which ended in a physical confrontation. Lewis received injuries to his head and mouth. The dead man's grandmother, Janet Davis, said the man was hoping to enjoy Christmas with the family. Yesterday morning last, I was coming from market, selling on the avenue. He said, Mommy, come. Come carry these things and he packed me up on Christmas. My heart is. Everything. Meanwhile, the other person who died is 30-year-old Carlos Williams, who was stabbed to death outside of a nightclub also at Portuguese quarters. Reports are that Williams and his wife, along with two other friends, were imbibing at when an argument occurred. However, the now dead man's friend Paul Grant said he does not know why he and his friend were attacked. Grant was also injured. According to him, he and the now dead man left to use the washroom, but it was filled, so they went outside, and as they got to the corner, they passed a group of young men, including the suspect. Shortly after, Grant said he was lashed with a bottle to his head. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't know what guys attack. Mm -hmm. The same. Because at, at, at the set time when the guys are attacking, mm -hmm. it, it gets somebody break a bottle in my face. So, well, the same person that over uh, mess on e. Uh -huh. Start finding some wild boy oh, because oh. this is the same person here, so mm -hmm. uh, 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 cut me, cut me, my face. However, the suspect's wife tells a different story. According to her, she and four others were at a table when a cousin who was with a group of men told her that one of his friends wanted to dance with her. She refused the offer, and her husband heard about the request. A commotion caused the DJ to turn off the music and to put on the lights. Eyewitnesses say when the now dead man went out of the building, he was bleeding. According to the woman, it was her cousin who started the feud. She said her husband went over to her cousin and an argument started. Her cousin armed himself with a bottle and she pulled her husband, who she referred to as Rickford, away. They went outside and there they were attacked and Rickford defended himself. He da behind me, hunching, hunching me, and talking in my ears, telling me he get a bike from a dance with, and me telling no way and see Rick Ford sit down, let me can't do that. And he end up, Rick Ford see and he asks me where, where he telling me, where he doing me, and he said he telling me how he get a bike for me dance with. And Rick Ford go and ask, he come with his family. Asked him, will we tell me y'all and you see me there right there? He said, um, if it's probably you want to see them to get in the mouth of mouth of talking. And this first lashing you're talking about, where it, where, where it took place? Like, need a little high, but like, how them to talking, like, the one lashing right in the car. That's why we pull it out and we carry it outside. And we did a little time and it just come outside from Rickford. The suspect who fled the scene was subsequently arrested. For the Evening News, Andrew Carmichael.